Okay, so picture this. You're out on a fishing trip, miles from shore, sun shining. You've got your lines in the water. Everything's perfect. It's idyllic. And then all of a sudden, you see these objects spiraling down from the sky. Not birds. Not planes. Definitely not. Something unidentified. And that is what we are diving deep into today. And let me tell you, this one gets wild. What I think is so interesting about this particular case is that it's not just some blurry footage, right? This is a clear video capturing this event. And it really, I don't know, it makes you think twice about what we think we know about our skies and our oceans. That's, that's it, exactly. And you sent over some really great stuff for this deep dive. We've got the article, Strange Creatures in Silver Soots. You've got opinions from a marine biologist, an aviation expert, even an astronomer. We're talking UFOs, USOs, underwater bases. This is- Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to unpack. It's a lot. It really is. But that's what our deep dive is for. That's what we do here. We sift through all of the noise, all the speculation, and we see what we can actually, you know, take away from what we know, from what your sources say. Yeah, exactly. So let's set the scene a little bit. Okay. So this video was shot by a guy named James Dean. He was fishing in the Gulf of Mexico about 72 miles off the coast of Florida back in July of 2022. Okay. He's filming his family reeling in a fish. Yeah. Totally normal day. Yeah. Right? And then boom, yeah. in the background, these objects start falling. And not just falling straight down either. The article describes it as a spiraling descent toward the ocean. And, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> that detail is going to be important. Oh, I'm hooked already. It's going to get weirder. Oh, yeah. So James and his family, they get curious naturally. Yeah. And they head towards where these objects splash down. Okay. And as they get closer, they're met with this massive patch of fluorescent green spreading out on the water. Oh, wow. So as you can imagine, the internet went wild with this one. Alien theories everywhere. Everywhere, of course. Of course. So let's talk about that green glow first. Okay. Could it be something natural? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe a school of bioluminescent creatures freaking out because something just crashed into their neighborhood. Yeah. That's a good thought. Mm. And we do see bioluminescence in the ocean quite a bit. However, the marine biologist Shay Sangus, whose insights you included, she says that's actually pretty unlikely. Really? What makes her say that? Well, a couple things. First, she points out that the bioluminescence that we typically see from marine animals is more of a bluish hue, not this like almost neon green that we see in the video. And second, think about it. Most bioluminescent creatures are deep sea dwellers, right? right. They wouldn't be tooting on a light show near the surface, mm -hmm. especially in broad daylight. So this green stuff, it's something else entirely. Okay. So no glowing sea monster welcome party then? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So what about those theories about underwater alien bases or those things called USOs, unidentified submersible objects? Oh, wow. Could it be some sort of extraterrestrial energy source, alien exhaust? Mm. I don't know. Well, it's fun to imagine. I have to ask. I appreciate your enthusiasm. And it's true that some people believe that our oceans could be hiding secrets we can't even comprehend. <laughs> And the article even mentions those USOs potentially belonging to extraterrestrial beings. Right. And there was that video from a few years back showing that strange blue-green light in Russia's Lake Baikal. Right. But if we actually consider how USOs are usually described, the aviation expert Tim McMillan, he points out a key difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. He explains that USOs are often reported moving in and out of the water smoothly, almost seamlessly. Okay. This green light, though, it's not acting like a vehicle at all it's spreading out from the impact site, which looks a lot more like a spill a than any kind of propulsion system. Interesting. Well, speaking of spills, what? you can't miss how that debris leaves this weird corkscrew trail as it falls. Does that tell us anything? It is, yeah. It's a very telling detail. McMillan says that that kind of spiraling usually means an object that's become unstable during its descent, kind of like when a rocket stage separates from the main body. So we're thinking maybe not aliens, but a rocket launch gone wrong. Oh. But the article mentioned that there weren't any SpaceX launches scheduled off the coast of Florida that day. Right. And that's a great point. And it leads us to something really intriguing. Because, see, while SpaceX might be the big name that everyone knows, astronomer Mark D'Antonio reminds us that there's a whole other world of launches happening. Classified missions. Okay. The stuff we wouldn't know about unless, well, someone decided to tell us. Okay. Now we're getting into some serious need-to-know territory here. Uh -huh. Secret government project. Strange objects spiraling from the sky. And then that green dye appears. Could it be a marker? Like the kind that they use to locate things at sea? Daniel actually brings up that fluorescein dye is used for exactly that. It's pretty common, apparently. He explains that if there's an accident or maybe a recovery operation, 
think like commercial shipping, military exercises, even submarine activity. They often release this dye to mark their location. So are we saying this whole thing was just a big misunderstanding? A secret government launch has a little hiccup? They pop some dye to mark the splashdown zone? And suddenly the internet is convinced it's aliens. Well, it's definitely a possibility. And if we think back to what Macmillan said about the corkscrew descent, it starts to seem even more plausible. What if this really was debris from a multi-stage rocket, intended to be recovered, maybe even reused? That bright green dye would make it pretty hard to miss. I see what you mean. Yeah. But, and I know we're supposed to be all about critical thinking here, wouldn't they want to keep a secret mission? Well, secret. Wouldn't that bright green be a bit of a giveaway? That is a fantastic question. And unfortunately, it's where the information we have hits a bit of a wall. If this was a classified launch, the reasons for releasing a visible marker, especially something as eye-catching as fluorescent green dye, well, those reasons would be purely up to speculation on our end. Okay, so we've ruled out a few things. It's probably not glowing sea monsters throwing a rave, and it might not be aliens making a pit stop. We're left with this possibility of a secret government project. But that just opens up even more questions. If this was some kind of secret government thing, what were they even launching? And why all the secrecy? It's like something out of a movie. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And unfortunately, it's not one our sources have the answer to. But that doesn't mean we have to stop digging. Right. I mean, what else could explain those objects falling from the sky? And if they were trying to keep things under wraps, why release that die at all? It seems counterintuitive. Exactly. This is where your own analysis comes in. What else could be at play here? Even beyond the possibilities we've already discussed. Could it be a decoy? Something to distract from another event happening somewhere else entirely? Ooh, a decoy. I like that misdirection <laughs> classic spy stuff. Or maybe it was a test of a new recovery system and that bright green dye was part of some elaborate tracking mechanism. We just don't have enough information to say for sure. This is what I love about these deep dives. Uh -huh. We start with a crazy video and suddenly we're talking secret missions and decoys. It really makes you realize there's so much happening behind the scenes. Right, absolutely. It highlights how much we take for granted how many complex operations are probably happening around us every day without us ever knowing. It's a little humbling, honestly. We may not have all the answers about this particular event, but we've definitely uncovered some thought-provoking possibilities. And hey, maybe someday more information will come to light. Until then, we get to keep pondering the possibilities. And that's half the fun, isn't it? The mystery keeps us curious. Totally. This whole thing reminds me of that quote by Arthur C. Clarke. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. We might be looking at something perfectly explainable, but without all the pieces, it might as well be magic. I love that. Yeah. And who knows, maybe someday we'll look back on this video and laugh at how little we understood. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it'll remain one of those unsolved mysteries that keeps us looking up at the sky and wondering. Either way, it's a good reminder that there's still a lot out there we don't know. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Well, there you have it. A deep dive into a viral video that's equal parts fascinating and perplexing. Until next time, keep those critical thinking caps on. And remember, sometimes the most mundane explanation isn't the right one.